Through and Through and Through is an exhibition and a new body of work that started with the question, how can I increase the dimensional component of reflected color in my work? My primary interest as a painter has been with color, and it continues to be my primary interest. My paintings over the years have been put on frames that pull the work off of the wall up to about three inches. And what I've tried to do in these works is combine the color that I would use on the face of the painting with reflected color that would shine or glow off the top of my frames and spill out into the environment within which these paintings were hung. I got to a point with this work where I said, well, okay, let's try and increase that dimensional component of reflected color. How can I get a three-dimensional color reflection on those paintings? So once I had a better understanding of what the prismatic foil was capable of, it was then a question of going back to my studio and finding ways to manipulate this material that would enhance the color production. In what format did I need to shape it to enhance color production? And I found that the curvilinear format was indeed the way to go versus a planar format. And so um, I started cutting out material, bending it, um, uh, flexing it, doing a number of things with it, until I came up with a small maquette uh, that could stand on a table. I thought, well, this would be fantastic if it wasn't a full immersive sculptural installation that was architectural in scale so that the human body would walk inside of this thing and be fully immersed. I think there's an, a direct relationship between the discovery of this material and the paintings that I produced for through and through and through. So I had three-dimensional reflected color that was uh, glowing off of the wall now as I had created, along with this large uh, installation piece, I had also started to create smaller pieces that were wall hung. So elliptical shapes, circular shapes, and simply curvilinear pieces that stuck out from the wall six inches. At every curve, there would be a different set of color reflections um, that would result based on the length and shape of the curve. Well, then I said, okay, I've got 3D color now happening as reflected color. How can I increase the dimensional component of color on the face of the painting? So I went back and forth, and now back to the face of the painting. It was one day I simply got hit by an idea, and that was, let's try turning color on and off on the faces of these paintings. Now, how would I do that? What kinds of paint could I find that would have different interactions with light that would result in different kinds of color being produced. The paintings are structured in very specific ways. These paintings require an active versus a passive viewer. You have to interact with this work as with the sculptures um, because there are all sorts of uh, colors and systems that are hidden at certain vantage points that you will only discover if you move in front of the work and find them. 